Once you see this folder with a question mark, it means that it works. So turn your computer off and put it up in recovery mode by holding Command R. That's going to take about 15 to 20 minutes. It's going to take some time. But once it does, you're going to see the disk utility window. And um, from here, you're going to have to click on disk utility so that you can format your new SSD drive. Click on use utility. Once you hit continue, you're going to see uh, on the left hand side the name of your hard drive. In my case, it's, it's uh, the OWC Mercury. So click on it, highlight it, and then you go to where it says erase. You're going to have to click on that so you can format the hard drive in order to install the new OS. So once you click on erase, you're going to see at the bottom two little windows. One says uh, Mac OS Extended Journal, which is the one that you have to pick in order to format the, the hard drive. You can name it, you can give it whatever name you want. Um, I just named uh, my hard drive SSD drive. Then you, uh, it could be just about anything. It's just going to be the name of your hard drive. So once you give it a name, um, you hit erase. And once you hit erase, Make sure that, like I said, it says Mac OS Extended Journal. So once you hit Erase, it's going to format your, your new SSD. That way you can install um, an OS. If you don't do this, you won't be able to install an OS because your computer is not going to find the, the hard drive. So once you do that, you just like click out of uh, Disk Utilities and you go back to the recovery mode window. From here, you can go to reinstall OS X, hit continue, and hit continue again. This is gonna take some time. It took me uh, more than an hour to install this OS. For some reason, it took longer than I thought it would take, um, but in the end, it worked. If it takes more, more than an hour, you know, don't, don't freak out. It took me took me some time I would say it took me more than like an hour and 20 minutes to download and install and once you do that you should be good to go you should have any problems um, I'm going to show you on the next step how to um, bring your computer up to date up to the latest OS which is uh, Mac OS Catalina After I uh, formatted my my new SSD, um, the 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 OS that the uh, SSD formatted to was uh, Mac OS X. So I think I think that's for every single one of those SSDs. When you format it, it goes straight to uh, Mac OS X. Um, I could be wrong, but that's that's what I got. So um, once the whole process uh, finished, I was able to open up my computer and and it was working really, really fast. It was perfect. Um, and then I went to uh, about this Mac and I was on 10.9. You can see right now I'm on, right now I'm on, the latest one, Catalina, ten point fifteen point six. So I went on to uh, I went to about about this computer, about this Mac, and it was in ten point nine. So I said, let me let me update it. Let me let me let me hit software update. So I did what most people do. I hit software update, and it wouldn't update to the latest Mac OS. It wouldn't do it. Um, it just kept sending me like little updates, like uh, patches. Safari updates, but it wouldn't update to the latest uh, Catalina. So uh, I called the the company that uh, Mac sells, which by the way they're pretty good. I mean they answer they answer your questions right away. Uh, even if you just chat with them, uh, you're not chatting with a bot. You're actually chatting with a real person, and these people are like really really helpful. So. Um, I told them what my, my, what my problem was that I wasn't able to update my computer through the through the system system update to through the software update. So the first guy that I that I spoke to through the chat, 
uh, he sent me a link and he, he told me to he told me that I can update through a, a bootable uh, let me see a bootable installer um, downloading the the OS and putting and flashing the OS onto a little flash drive so he gave me the link I'm gonna post these links on the on the description below this video he sent me the links on how to do it um, you can follow the instructions it's very easy um, but it didn't work for me remember I was on Mac OS 10 and I wanted to go from Mac OS 10 to uh, Mojave because I don't think you can go from Mac OS 10 all the way up to Catalina I am uh, I'm not sure you might have to Google that but my the, what I wanted to do just go from Mac OS 10.9 to Mojave to this one and from there just do go to software update and it'll update to Catalina so um, that did not work the way I planned it first of all I wasn't able to for some reason it wasn't allowing me to do create the the bootable uh, flash drive so the way the easiest way for you to do this this link contains the links to the latest three um, Mac OS Catalina Mojave and High Sierra um, if you click on any of these it'll take you like uh, if you go to here and if you scroll down you're gonna see the link to get the OS and the second you click on this it'll take you to the uh, to the App Store and that's how you that's how you um, download it you get it from the App Store so you can see that you download it and once you download it it'll ask you to install it and that's all you have to do you install it I want so I went from I went I had 10.9 and I wanted to just you know download Mojave and I did it and it started downloading and it took forever I don't know if it got stuck it wasn't moving much or maybe it was just like it was too much info so it was it was showing like as it was hardly even moving so after an hour I just said you know what forget it I canceled it and um, I went back to the link I went back to this link and I said you know what I'm just gonna go to I'm gonna download High Sierra and I'm gonna go from there to the latest one so that's that's what worked for me I came back and I downloaded I went to Mac OS High Sierra I scroll down I went number four it says download Mac OS High Sierra so I went here and it took me to the App Store and it downloaded High Sierra and then I just hit install the installation took close to an hour and 45 minutes I would say more than an hour uh, first of all you have to download it it takes some time um, could be could be shorter for one of you guys I don't know but that's how long it took on mine uh, and then you have to install the OS uh, that was like another 45 minutes it downloads pretty slow and sometimes it download pretty quick because after that I went after High Sierra was installed on my computer I came back to this link and I went to Mac OS Catalina and I scroll down to number four it says uh, download Mac OS Catalina and it took me to the App Store so you can see it takes you to the App Store automatically and I, I hit get you download it and you install it that is the latest Mac OS for Apple and then this one this one actually downloaded faster than uh, High Sierra and it installed faster it took like 30 minutes to install I think um, but overall like installing High Sierra and then installing Mac OS Catalina through here uh, I would say the whole thing took maybe two hours and a half or so so that's the only way I was able to update my 
my SSD to the latest um, to the latest macOS, which is macOS Catalina 10.15.6, and at least I couldn't do it through the system system update. When I flashed that, when I formatted the the SSD, um, maybe you're not having that problem, but I had that problem. So, you know, if you're if you're having the same problem that I did, this is the way to do it. This is the easiest way, the fastest way to update your uh, your SSD, your iMac, or whatever computer you have. Um, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna post the link on the description, like I said. And you can get all the OS from there. You don't have to flash. Uh, you don't have to install High Sierra if you don't want to. You can try Catalina from like from the beginning. Uh, um, like I said, I'm not sure if you can go from 10.9 all the way to Catalina. I know that you can go from 10.9 all the way to Mojave, and from there you can install uh, Catalina. But you can give it a try. Maybe it'll work for you. Um, it didn't work for me, so I had to go the other way, the other route. But let me know in the description uh, after you, if you had this problem, let me know on the comment section. And after you install all the updates, please come back and let me know if this worked for you. Um, I'm really curious to know if maybe I was the only one having this issue with the SSD that it wasn't updating the the SSD once I went to uh, software update. Now I'm running the latest one, but before, like when I was in High Sierra, it just, it wasn't showing me no updates for the, for like uh, the newest OS. So I had to do, this is the way I had to do it and it worked. Now this computer is, I mean, I can't, I can't even explain it at how fast this computer is before before I installed this uh, this this SSD, my computer was taking between five and seven minutes to reboot. And then if I wanted to open up like one of the Adobe uh, programs, kind of like uh, InDesign or Illustrator or Photoshop, it'll just take forever, like five, seven minutes. I have a video of I have a video before I install this SSD and I try to open it in design, I think, just to show you how long it'll take to open up just one program. It was just incredible. But now, after after the update, after I updated the SSD, it's fast. You can see how fast it is. It's just really, really, really fast. This is just in design. It took like maybe three to four seconds to uh, open up. Um, Photoshop is it's just extremely fast just look how fast this is you know if my computer was like a 2013 iMac late 2013 and he had the old uh, hard drive and it was just uh, something happened I think it was Mojave or one of those Hi Sierra, one of those updates that uh, OS that Mac uh, that Apple sent about a year or two ago, and my computer was working fine before then, and it just got so slow after one of the updates. I have I had no clue what was causing the uh, you know the uh, what was causing the problem, and finally Apple. I, I spoke to, or I think I saw like a something from Apple saying that if you have like an older, older iMac or MacBook Pro with like one of those old uh, hard drives, like the new the new OS with their new updates, it's just gonna make work things worse. Like uh, it's just gonna make the computer run really slow. So you had no choice either to, you, the only choices you had was either to buy a new computer or to updated and I just decided to update the SSD and it, it, it made it made such a huge 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 difference I mean 
right now it feels like if I have like a brand new iMac, that's how fast this thing is. It's incredible. It's incredible fast. It's it's just amazing. So I want to like I actually want to thank the the people from MacSales.com because the, like I said, they're very helpful. They're always there for you know if any questions you you need to ask. They you can call them or you can chat with them and and they help you out. So. Um, I want to thank them and once again, like, uh, come back to, to this video and leave me a comment and let me know if, uh, if you were having this problem and if it worked after you install all the updates, uh, please, uh, hit a like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you on the next video. Thank you.